Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you guys are new. My name is Dink and I post Disney related content and all things Disney on this channel and I'm so stinking excited for today's video because we're doing another shop with me Disney finds. Um, I did one not that long ago where I was hunting for Disney merchandise and items at stores like Marshalls, uh, Burlington and Five Below. I will link that video up above and down below for you guys to check out if you're interested. But today we are heading over to Target, literally my favorite store ever. Does anybody else just go to Target and just like browse around but then end up buying something that you probably didn't need but like secretly you need it in your life? Cause same. But we're gonna head to Target, check out the Disney store section in that store, as well as the Christmas section and see what kind of Disney Christmas items they have. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go shopping. So first we're gonna head over to the Disney store section of this Target. I would just check your local Target to see if they have this section available. Uh, so first, we saw some dresses. This is an Ariel inspired one. Love the colors of the teal, mint, and purple, and the sequins. Unfortunately, this one did not have a price on it, but I thought maybe like $40-ish. Then they had this Elsa one with a blue ombre effect at the bottom. It was a really cute dress, very dressy dress. If you know what I mean, like the dresses you wore to church or to like Easter or something that your parents dressed you in. This one's $44.99. Then we found these Disney Christmas PJ sets. They came in men's, women's, kids, and I believe toddlers. They had this Disney one. The women's have Minnie Mouse on it and men's had Mickey on it. They came with the top and then the bottom pants. They were $20 each so stinking cute if you're doing any um, family photos cards or anything like that for the season and it does say joy on the front with a mickey head so stinking cute and then there was a nightmare for christmas themed one that said no sleep till christmas with jack skellington some schools and christmas lights then we found this Disney Christmas tree skirt and oh my god guys oh my god if I did like Disney Disney themed like Christmas for it I would have gotten it but like also it was like $80 but it's so stinking cute and it looks like it could possibly be reversible as well I just thought this was really cute and great quality so adorable then I found this light up tree topper. It had Mickey and Minnie on it with the little choir books. So stinking cute. I'm not sure what the price was on it because it didn't seem like it was in the right spot, but absolutely adorable. Matches the skirt perfectly. Then we have these Disney cuddlies. They have Minnie, Spider-Man, Stitch, and Pooh and Chewbacca. I believe these are 30 dollars so soft and i just love them so much then we have this disney princess mini fridge in pink this was 79.99 absolutely adorable kind of small for a mini fridge i know it's mini but like still and then we have this moana jewelry box um so stinking cute love the like mint color of it then we had this neon sign that said be our guest this was $24.99 then this jewelry trinket tray it was inspired by tiana it says dream big then we have these bookends that says book for the weekend in gold these were $29.99 we have some blue and i believe that's purple cushions that were $29.99 as well this is a throw book blanket with a sleep mask that says book for the weekend. We have a towel that's blue and white striped. This one also said book for the weekend. Bell inspired. And then they had this throw pillow that also said book for the weekend for $30. It was a small throw pillow so like for $30 that 
no thank you then we have these disney style series uh princess dolls they're part of the princess celebration collection they had belle and cinderella i actually really liked how cinderella looked i loved her dress and the little clock as her like purse so stinking cute and adorable um i believe these were like 26.99 i could be wrong again themes were kind of everywhere then they had this set with some of the disney princesses so cute they had rapunzel jasmine cinderella belle tiana aurora and ariel there was a lot of ariel dolls as well and then they had this like spider-man area i believe this is a show it says spidey amazing friends i believe it's on disney plus um, but they had plushies walkie talkies bottles this like spider bot like toy theme and then they had like these pajama sets then i found disney park pins guys disney park pins they had this grogu one that says the best things come in small packages i thought this one was absolutely adorable and it was $9.99. So stinking cute. This one spoke to me. Then we have this one. It says Peace, Love, and Mickey. A Thor one. I really like like the backing of this one. This was also $9.99. They had a Tramp and Lady one. Christmas one. With the candy cane. So stinky cute. $9.99 as well. They had a Hulk one. You get love the backing. They had a Black Widow one as well. I just like how like the backing kind of reflects. And then they had the 50th. Guys, the 50th Walt Disney World pin. I didn't get it. Why? I don't know. It was only $10. <laughs> then we have this like putty. It had, it was like Tiana, but I guess there's other princesses. They had this Belle brush and a Anna one. This area was pretty messy. Uh, so it's hard to show everything that they had look like they had some like little lego star wars kits um pins kind of things you would put in like stocking stuffers i found this pua little plushie and again not a lot of things had price on them they had bruni so stinky cute bruni bruno bruni and then they had olaf as well and then i found this random goofy plushie i thought this was stinking cute i like the ripple on his pants and little vest so stinking cute they had this disney blind box with some of the princesses and then like their sidekicks and we randomly found like a miko one and we didn't know where he blew on and i guess someone opened a box <laughs> then we found some little nail polish this one's belle and jasmine they also had a Minnie Mouse one as well that came in too. And then I found this Tinkerbell ornament with like the map behind her. It's the scene where she tells Hook where Peter Pan's hideout is if you don't know. But it was so stinking cute. And this was $20. We found this set of Blu-rays of the Star Wars movies. I think they had every single one except for they were missing like maybe episode nine not sure then we found these star wars plushies they had a ewok a porg this like leopard cat thing and then uh credo from you know the original star wars and then they had the animator dolls they had aurora mulan anna and elsa these dolls are so stinking cute these were $29.99 and they had Belle too. They have this cute little mini mouse Mickey car, so adorable. And this is like in a collection that's like inspired the Disney princess like look like you, kind of like American Girl doll, I guess. They had so many different accessories. They had like Moana, they had this cute Tiana set that came with like frog cupcakes. I thought this was adorable. I think it came with like an apron as well. So cute. And then they had like a Minnie Mouse one. They had like an Anna one as well. 
and then a rapunzel one so stinking cute i believe these are like having like a special sale at the moment um where you save like a dollar but like a dollar is a dollar guys and then they have this jasmine one and then up above they had the dolls so they're like meant to look like you uh they had the elsa one it says ready set snow this one is so stinking cute like her skirt adorable the olaf beanie yes i wish i had these i would definitely get the tinkerbell one with the silhouettes of her on her dress and the jean jacket like oh my god and then they had this aerial one that said make it a splash so stinking cute these were like 35 dollars they had a raya section as well i love raya the last dragon such a good movie but plenty of toys in that section they had a ton of different um dolls they had smaller princess ones that were like ten dollars and i believe the bigger ones were ten dollars too but they were so stinking cute guys such great prices and then i found some more like mini cuddlies these didn't have price on them of course but they had a mickey one and then they had a mini one as well they look more of like a purple blue color instead of like black but they're still sticking cute and then i found this random flounder plush and then they also had a olaf curly as well so stinking cute this is a great stocking stuffer and then i found this mickey kind of like portrait thing it's 119 dollars and 99 cents but you can only make mickey or mini you can't have both honestly i think you should just have both especially for that price and then they have an iron man one i believe they have like a captain america one and a Darth Vader one but yeah then there's this hulk cuddly i found this in the kids like sleeping room decor area they had the chewbacca they had Sully, and then there was captain america and then rex from toy story again i believe these were like 30 dollars but totally worth it guys i have one and it's so stinking comfortable so soft so soft it's worth it trust me trust me trust me and then i found these cute little sets they came with a plushie and a throw blanket as well they were 17.99 so they had this jack skellington one with the halloween themed blanket and then they had a stitch one with him and his surfboard which i thought was really cute and then they also had this spider-man one and then it had him on the back and then an elsa doll one and the blanket was blue and then had her and her horse with her and of course they had a grogu one as well the blanket was blue and had different grogus on it and then they had a mini mouse one with her with like rainbows and unicorns which i thought was kind of random but okay <laughs> they had this miles one with him all over the back of the blanket which is really cool now we're moving to the christmas area they had some disney ornaments these are like the bubble ones they had olaf and elsa these were each seven dollars these ones i like like and don't like then they had this awesome stitch one with scrum this one was so stinking cute it was nine dollars then they had a bell one with her and the rose and then they had a woody and buzz bubble one again some of them are really cute and some of them aren't um these ones were okay and then they had a koala one and then behind her was a dalmatia one they were each seven dollars and then they had this Iron Man one. Wasn't a fan of that one. But I was definitely a fan of this Darth Vader one. This one was really cute. And of course they had a Grogu one as well with his little cup. And then they had this Captain America. Not a fan. The Spider-Man was cute. They had this little Groot ornament. And then behind him was Black Panther. This Captain America one was awesome this one was a nice one and then they had a mini and mickey ornament these ones were ten dollars much cheaper than the ones at the parks but definitely really cute i believe the ears were more of a foam rubber material but i think they're cute 
Then they had a Loki bubble ornament and a Black Widow one as well. She looked kind of weird. And then they had a Hulk one right behind her. And then right above they have these mini ornaments. They have Star Wars, Harry Potter, and then the princess ones. I believe they have Mickey and Friends as well. $13 each. And now here are some stockings that are all $15. This was a Jack Skellington inspired one. This one was so stinking cute. Behind that was this bell one. I thought this one was adorable and it had a rose on the top of it, embroidered. And then they had these matching ones of Mickey and Minnie. They're so stinking cute. Hers had a bow on it and then his kind of had like a mistletoe with it, but these were adorable guys like absolutely adorable if i didn't have stockings i would get these and then they had an anna and elsa one with a snowflake and then an ariel one with a seashell both 15 dollars both really cute for your kiddos or yourself honestly because i wanted some of these and then they had some more above that they had a spider-man one and this one actually had like little spiders on it and then they had a Dars Vader one, of course. I love this one. And then they also had a little Grogu one as well. If you love Grogu, I would get this ASAP. It's gonna sell out for sure. And I believe these ones were $15 each. Then I found this random Mandalorian back bomb. It was tangerine flavored. And then these Spider-Man like chapsticks. These were just randomly in an area for like stocking stuffers, I guess. Then they had these inflatables. They had an Olaf one that was four feet. That was $40. And then they had this Grogu one that was three and a half feet tall. And I believe this one was $50. And then they had some Disney wrapping paper. They had this Grogu one with red. It said the child and Star Wars. I really like this Mickey one with Donald and Goofy. So cute. I believe each of these were $4 each. Then they had this Disney inspired one. I forget the artist who does it. It's like Jim something. Can't remember. Then they had this Nightmare for Christmas theme one. I actually used this wrapping paper last year for Christmas time. Then they had this Frozen one with Elsa and Anna with snowflakes and Olaf also for $4. On our way out, we did find this Santa Claus Jack Skellington sweater. I want this so bad, guys. It lights up. And it lights up, I guess, when you move. We figured that out. And then you can also take out the lights of the sweater so you're able to wash it. But I thought it was cute with the candy canes. And it did have candy canes on the sleeve. Like, this was absolutely adorable. I need it in my life. This was $27.99. But I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. And then, lastly, they had these cute little mickey shaped holiday like pants they came in multiple sizes and they were ten dollars each so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i just want to clarify i did not show the entire disney store section in that target unfortunately just because i was getting super anxious in the store that day uh, so i do apologize but if you guys would like me to do a whole walkthrough of the disney store in a target definitely let me know i can do that in a future video other than that i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you give this video a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you guys can be notified every time i upload a video which is every monday wednesday and saturday and i'll catch up with you guys next time bye Thank you.